Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get your tickets for the Truth About the Game seminar. Space is limited, so get your tickets today. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So um, I got an email from a subscriber and this subscriber sent a donation. Um, but this email isn't necessarily a question, um, but it was more of a testimonial. And I wanted you guys to, you know, um, hear this because this is basically what can happen if you actually apply the game and take the game seriously. You feel what I'm saying? So this one says, Hey, Mr. Locario, I don't have a question, more of a testimonial, but I still want your thoughts. I'm a 41 year old divorced uh, man with two kids. The thing is, I've never felt like I had a game. I consider myself an average looking guy. I'm five foot six uh, with a noticeable gap in my front teeth, which I was always self-conscious about. But my ex-wife and other girls in college still seem uh, still wanted me, even though my self-esteem was low. Um, if I'm being honest, the reason I married my ex was because I felt she was the best I could get. And we were married for seven years until we both couldn't take it anymore because it was constant battle on who was in charge and pussy withholding bullshit when she wasn't happy. Uh, so forget the sob story. I'm writing this to let other guys know that you can be yourself and still get these chicks. In fact, being yourself is so much easier. I've been divorced going on close to five five years, and I found uh, the game from you about eight months ago, life-changing. Um, I want to say you changed my mindset, and now I'm dealing with two beautiful bad women that each com compete every day for my attention. Plus, I am always dealing with other chicks with the abundance mindset. So for the guys out there, I want to say something about being yourself. Number one, don't worry about what a woman thinks. Just do you. Speak your mind. If she doesn't like it, move on. Women are a dime a dozen. Number two, charge uncooperative women to the game. Don't let them waste your time. Number three, um, already know what you want when you're dealing with women. Number four, women want instruction. Always be the one in charge. Never follow their game plan. Number five, don't lie to women. Tell them the truth, especially about other women. If they have a problem, who cares? Charge them and see rule number one. Number six, and the most important, if, you have, if you're having a drought, always look back on your past successes and reflect and move on. And what are your thoughts on this? All right. So this is, uh, I want to thank you for this, this email. Let me give you a, a hand clap. <laughs> Got to give you a hand clap, bro. Because <laughs> I love to hear when dudes apply the game and they get it pop. I just, I just, I just love that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And I want to go through these, these six things you said. You were saying, you know, the first one you're saying, don't worry about what a woman thinks. Just do you speak your mind. If she don't like it, move on. Women are a dime a dozen. Exactly. And this is, this is very important. A very important thing that guys have to understand is that what most guys do is they make the mistake of trying to like sort of convince a woman to like them. Right. So even when we talk about game, guys think, you know, the game is about like tricking, manipulating, or sort of like, you know, trying to convince some chick that initially is not into them or, you know, is not feeling them to like them. They're like, oh, well, you know, let me, if I have enough game, I can turn this girl's mind around and all. It's like, that's, that's just a waste of time. You understand what I'm saying? It's you, you just want to be able to do your thing, figure out what you want, make shit happen. And you're going to attract women into your life who are about what you're about and who's feeling you, right? And it's up to you to learn how to recognize the chicks who are feeling you, recognize the chicks who are on some wishy-washy nonsense, and then recognize the chicks who just ain't feeling you and keep that shit pushing, all right? Um, and, and also you're saying, you know, women are a dime a dozen, and I'm like, exactly, there's, there's, there's so many chicks out there. Now, number two, you said, uh, charge uncooperative women to the game, don't let women waste your time. Again, if this chick is not cooperating, you just keep that shit pushing to the next girl. It's just, there's too many guys. There's too many women out there. Number three, already know what you want when you're dealing with women. That's very important because a lot of times 
Guys don't know if they're just trying to smash. Guys don't know if they're trying to really date a girl to get to know her on some, you know, trying to make her wifey type of stuff. Like, dudes need to understand what you're trying to do with these chicks because that gives you the roadmap of, t- of what to do when you first start dealing with them. You feel what I'm saying? So figure out what you want when, you know, when you're dealing with these women. Now, he said, number four, women want instruction. Always be the one in charge. Never follow their game plan. Exactly. See, women, this is what I noticed over the years when it comes to, to dealing with women. And especially if you're in like, you know, in a, in a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, it could be even your wife or whatever, or you just being, you just been dating a girl for a while or whatever. But, you know, any chick that is around you for an extended period of time, right? She wants instructions. She wants you to basically tell her what to do. You understand? Forget all of this feminist stuff you heard and all of that other nonsense. Women like for you to give them instruction. And especially if you're on your purpose, right? Let's say you're, you know, you're doing certain things. Let's say you are, I don't know, like uh, trying to start a business or you're trying to make something happen. You know, you could put that chick to work. You understand? Have her do certain things for you and give her those instructions to do it. Give her some some errands to run. You feel what I'm saying? And so a, a chick who's really down for you is going to love that because her running those errands, her doing those things for you is her seeing that you're on top of your shit. It's her seeing that you're about what you're about. It's her seeing that you're on top of your, you know, you're about your purpose, which makes her extremely attracted to you. You feel what I'm saying? And also when we talk about instruction, it's just guiding her in the right direction because women, when they're uh, with dudes, they're looking to dudes for guidance. You feel what I'm saying? Because a man, since he is that strong, uh, you know, um, um, figure, he's that rock, he's that stable person. She's always looking to you when she is, you know, going through her emotional turmoil and all this other stuff. You feel what I'm saying? So understand that when it comes to, to women. Now, number five, you said, don't lie to women. Tell them the truth, especially about other women. If they have a problem, who cares? Charge them. And then he also says, see rule number one, which is don't worry about what a woman thinks and just do you. And now, see, I've been saying don't lie to women for years. Okay? For years. I've been saying this. You understand this? You can go through the archives of my video. You'll see videos from like 2010 or 2012, 2015, where I've been saying, look, don't lie to these chicks. I remember I had, I think I had a video the other day. Um, I think it was maybe like two years ago where I was coming from this event and um, I was talking about these chicks that, that they can't take the truth and all this other stuff. And in the video, <laughs> I was being sarcastic and I was like, yo, you know, you know what? I'm gonna just lie to these girls. I'm gonna tell them what they want to hear. Cause they don't get, they just want to hear the nonsense. Right. And so, you know, but in the, in the video, basically what I was saying at the end of it, I was saying, look, do not, uh, you know, uh, change up your shit and, and, and lie to these women just to get them or just to feel like you need to do this in order to deal with these girls. Right. And, you know, you're, you're saying, you know, tell them the truth about other women. Yes, you don't need to lie to a chick and tell her that you're not dealing with other women. Now, the thing is, you don't need to tell a chick you're dealing with other women. But if the topic comes up, you don't have to lie to her and say you're not. You understand? And see, the reason why a lot of guys will lie to women about, you know, other women or lie to women about, you know, like just a bunch of bullshit or whatever is because they don't really understand women. You understand? See, if you, if you understand women and you're dealing with a number of different women, right? You would actually want to promote that you're dealing with other women. You understand what I'm saying? And the reason why I'm saying this is because the promotion of you dealing with other women increases your value in women's eyes. Do you guys understand this? It's like, 
It's like if you, let's say if you go past the restaurant and nobody's in that restaurant, you're going to probably think the restaurant sucks because nobody's in it. But if you pass a restaurant and it's packed and people are waiting outside online, you might be like, God damn, this restaurant must be the shit. People waiting out online to get up in this spot, right? The same thing happens for women. If you are dealing with a woman and she thinks or you're telling her that you ain't got no other chick, she's thinking, okay, well, what is wrong with this guy where no other chicks want to fuck with him, right? Now, when she knows you have other women or you fucking other women, what it does is that it makes her think, oh, this guy must be the shit because other women want to fuck with him. <sighs> Guys, seriously. Seriously, you, you got to get up on this game and, 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 and stop, you know, going on some other foolishness. You got to really understand what's going on in this game or else you're going to be making mistakes, not understanding certain shit. And then things are not going to go the way you want it to go. You understand? Like I've said a million fucking times. Look, I, I, I've said this too many times. I'm like, yo, you guys know I got a wife. You know, I got a girlfriend. And on top of that, I'm out here, you know, talking to other chicks. Like, how, how is this possible? <laughs> it's possible because you don't need to lie to these women. And the thing is, if a chick has a problem with that, if she's like, oh, I don't like that and I don't like that, Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for playing the game. You understand? Because this woman I meet where they're like, oh, you got a wife, you got a girl. I'm not trying to deal with that. You understand? And and, and I'm like, okay, cool. Keep it moving. And then, you know, I have, I, I've actually had women. This is the funny part. I've been in clubs and bars and shit. And... I'm talking to these women and they 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 always look at the the ring. They they're the ones who point it. Like before I used to fucking uh bring it up, but then I've I've stopped bringing it up. I just be talking to the chicks on some regular shit. And then I be I'll be flirting with them and then I I notice they'll point out the ring and that's that's when I know they're feeling me. Cuz they'll be, I'll be, you know, I'll be like, "Yo, listen, you know, you know, you're kind of sexy like me and you need to like make something happen like like yesterday like for real like we we we've already been wasting too much time like where the fuck have you been like like where have you been we needed to make something happen because you sexy as shit what are you what are you doing later blah 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 you know we need to make some ha so I'm, I'm you know i'm going in right so then she's like wait a second is that a ring on your finger right because she trust me she already peeped the ring she didn't she didn't just see it she already peeped it but because i'm coming at her Right now, she, uh, you know, she is bringing that up because she's like, well, what's going on? You got this ring. Are you cheating on your wife? Are you you understand? So then I let her dance. That's, that's when I let her know. I'm like, listen, listen, I got a wife. Um, I got a girl. I'm an open relationship. And, you know, and, and I'm digging you. So lucky for you, I'm an open relationship because that means we can make something happen. Right. So I've had chicks on, on more than one occasion. We'll be in a club. This is a girl I'm just meeting. You know, we end up making out, kissing. She's up there grabbing me up and shit. And, and, and she's telling me that she wants to suck my dick there, like in the club. Like she's trying to find a, a she wants to go to the, to the bathroom and make it happen. Like I remember, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm, oh man, I'm, I'm thinking about this stupid ass shit. I was at a spot, and this girl was getting turned on by that, cause I'm I'm kissing her, and she's like kissing me, and she's like as she's kissing me, she's talking all this shit. She's like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm kissing you, and you have a wife, and she's and she's like, your wife's at home sleeping right now while I'm kissing you. Oh my god, this is so hot. <laughs> Oh man, 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 man! I fucking love it. I fucking love it. But anyway, that's this is what I'm saying. You don't gotta lie to these chicks, man. Stop being scared. You feel what I'm saying? So that that's number five. 
And then number six, he said, you know, and the most important, if you're having a drought, always look back on your past successes and reflect and move on. And that, that's real talk because, you know, I always tell guys, look, what you want to do is you want to look at the wins, right? Meaning that there's going to be times where the game's going to be slow for you, right? And so what you want to do is you want to look back and say, you know what? Even though the game is slow right now, I know that I can approach and attract the type of women I want because I've done that before. I did that, you know, a few months ago when I was at that spot. I, you know, I did that last year when I was with that bad chick, you know, like I could get a bad chick because last year I got that bad chick so I could go get it again, you know, and, and, and right now, even though shit is going slow, you know, it is what it is. Everything is going to turn back around. The game goes in cycles, right? So you want to, you want to look back on your past experiences, the things that happened and you want to reflect on that to remind yourself that you can make shit go down. And, you know, and I, I said this before in another video, you know, you have to look at the wins in certain situations, even the small ones. So, like, let's say you're a guy who, you know, let's say you haven't really done that much. But what you've done so far is, let's say you've approached a few girls and they had conversations with you. Right. So you at least know you can approach a girl and have that conversation. So the thing is, is that when you go back out next week or whatever, you know that it's possible that you can do it because you done did it already. So you like, well, you know, I had conversations with girls before. I can do this again. So you go up and you approach more girls. And then you get more wins. You get more things. Now you're starting to get numbers. You understand? And then you're like, oh, yeah, look, I, I've gotten girls with, you know, numbers before and, and made shit happen like that. So I can do it again. So. The more that you do, you put yourself out there, remind yourself that you can do it, and then you keep that shit going. You feel me? So, yeah, so um, that's about it, man. That's pretty much it. Um, I, I want to thank you for this email. Uh, I, I, I love these type of um, emails. If any other guys have any testimonials to send, make sure you guys send that. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you guys have any more questions, click the link below, and I'll let you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get your tickets for the Truth About the Game seminar. Space is limited, so get your tickets today. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to BadBoyMembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com